everyone. Welcome to Love and Life's Journey. I'm Chantelle. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell so that YouTube will notify you when I upload new videos. So in a previous video, I did some coastal or beach decor and they were mostly like vases or candle holders and I, I asked you to tell me if you wanted to see more of that type of decor and so a lot of you did comment and say that you would like to see more coastal beach themed decor so that's what I have for you today but today's projects are a couple of wall decor pieces that I've come up with and um, they're made from mostly Dollar Tree items. They're inexpensive and they're really simple to make and I think they turned out really cute. So I hope you enjoy this video and these projects. Let's just get into it. The first project is this Sam Dollar Home sign. For this project you will need a wooden sign from Dollar Tree. You can just find one that's the size and shape that you want. I happen to have this one on hand so I'm going to be using it because it's perfect for the space that I have for this sign. If you don't want to freehand your letters, you will need some sort of pattern, uh, print out letters, or use stencils. I'm going to be using some chalk paint in the color agave, and this I picked up at Walmart for like $1.87, I think. And I'll also be using some jute twine and my hot glue gun, glue sticks, scissors, sand, sanding block, E6000, and a paintbrush. First, I'm going to prep my sign. I'll just remove that ribbon hanger, and I'll also be removing that galvanized heart off of the front of the sign. And I found this was a little bit hard to get off. Um, this one was stuck really hard on there, and so I used a couple different tools. But a trick you can do for this is to use a blow dryer or a heat gun and heat that up and that will loosen the glue that's on the back of that and then it's a little bit easier to remove. Next I'm going to sand my piece and I'm just using a sanding block from Dollar Tree. You can just use regular sandpaper and I'm going to make sure that that's really smooth where I removed the heart and then I'm also going to sand over the top of those red letters just to make them a little bit lighter so that they don't show through the paint. Next I'm going to paint my piece with the agave blue chalk paint. And this did take uh, two coats and in a few places it did take three coats to uh, completely cover up those letters. Once I had this painted, I realized that I wanted to hang it horizontally instead of vertically. And so I needed to fill those holes that the original ribbon hanger was in. So I'm just taking some wood filler and I'm just going to fill those in with a little bit. I just put a little bit on my finger and push it down into the holes and then uh, I just kind of remove the excess with my finger and then let it dry completely and then I'll just sand that smooth and add some paint over the top so that you never even notice that they're there. Since the board that I am using already has the grooves for the the boards in it. I'm just going to use some elephant chalk paint and just a, kind of a long skinny paintbrush and run that along those grooves to highlight those board separations. But if your board that you're using doesn't have those, you can just use a straight edge and uh, just paint them on. Next I'm going to take a little bit bigger of a brush and I'm still using the elephant colored chalk paint and I'm going to dry brush across the board just to uh, make it look a little bit aged. The trick to dry brushing is to make sure you have very little paint on your paintbrush and start out with a light hand and then you can apply more pressure if necessary. 
Next, I'm going to lay out my letters and line those up where I want them. You will notice that the sand dollar I have in this shot is actually made from salt dough. And I'll explain a little bit more about that and why that is in just a minute. Next, I'm going to transfer my letters onto the board. And if you have tracing paper, that works great. But here's a trick to use if you don't have tracing paper. Just take a lead pencil and on the back of the letters, uh, color everywhere the letters are and uh, just make sure it's covered well. And then put that back down on your piece and trace your letter. And the lead from the pencil will transfer onto the board and then you'll be able to see where to paint. So I'm going to paint my letters using the Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory and you'll notice here my chalk paint is kind of thick. Uh, you can add some water to it and, and make it not quite so thick and then it will uh, be a little bit easier to paint with, especially when you're doing smaller detail work. For this next step, I decided I wanted to hang my piece using command strips. These are just the little Velcro picture hanging strips. And I'm putting these on before I glue the sand dollar onto my piece because I didn't want to be pressing down on the board and break the sand dollar. So my next step is to add the sand dollar. And this is actually the one I made out of salt dough. And the story is, we have a sand dollar that we picked up on the beach the very first time we took our kids to the beach when they were like two and four years old. And we could not find it anywhere. That was the one that we wanted to use on this sign. And I couldn't find it anywhere. So I decided to make one out of salt dough and see how that turned out. And I think it turned out okay, um, but that's why it's a salt dough sand dollar and not a real one. If you want to see how I made the salt dough sand dollar, I did record it. So if you want me to put it in a video and post it, I would be happy to do that. Just let me know in the comments below. Then I'm just adding some twine around the ends of the sign. I'm wrapping it around four or five times and just tying a knot. And that's just uh, the finishing touch. So right after I finished this sign, I remembered where we had put the sand dollar. And this is the real sand dollar that we found like in 2002. Uh, and we've just been packing it around with us. And it's a miracle that it hasn't gotten broken. And so I took off the salt dough sand dollar and I'm replacing it with this keepsake sand dollar that reminds us of the very first time we took our girls to the beach. And I love the sign with the real sand dollar so much more. The salt dough sand dollar was okay, but it can't take the place of this one. If you don't have a real sand dollar and you don't want to make a salt dough sand dollar. Uh, you can pick one up at craft, some of the craft stores. I know Hobby Lobby carries them and I think some of the other ones do too. The second project is this fun farmhouse seahorse sign. For this, I picked up one of these take me to the sea signs from Dollar Tree and it has this seahorse that's actually a raised uh, extra piece on top of the sign. I'll also be using one of these three piece signs from Dollar Tree. And a package of wood letters. And I can't remember if I got these at Dollar Tree or at Walmart, but you can get them at both places. I'll be using some jute twine. I'll also be using chalk paint in the colors of ivory and agave, which is the kind of blue color, as well as some of this brown truffle colored chalk paint. 
For the first step, I'm going to be replacing this ribbon hanger with the jute twine. And so I'm going to leave the ribbon intact while I do this. And that way it will help hold the sign in place and you kind of have to keep um, pushing the pieces apart to make sure it's tight and uh, just I'm just gluing the twine all the way along the side of the ribbon on both sides. Once I have my twine in place, I'm going to snip off the ribbon so that it doesn't show. And I just found this was easier than trying to remove the staples um, because it's not going to show anyway. Next, I'm going to take my sanding block and sand the front of this sign. Uh, this sign had kind of a, a glittery, sandy finish on it. And so I'm just sanding that off and getting it nice and smooth for painting. Once again, I'm using my ivory chalk paint from Waverly. This is like my favorite. I use it all the time. And I am going to put a couple coats of paint on these signs and just make sure that the words are completely covered. While my first coat of paint is drying on the sign, I'm going to paint the letters um, SEA for C, and I'm using the agave chalk paint to do this. Then while the letters are drying, I'm going to put on the second coat of paint on my sign. Next, I'm just going to pry off that seahorse off of that sign from Dollar Tree and uh, I would just recommend being careful when doing the tail portion just because it's thinner and could break more easily. And then I'm removing any of the paper that shows from the front side of the seahorse that's uh, stuck to the back with that glue. This next step requires a little bit of patience. I'm just taking the twine and I'm starting at the neck of the seahorse and I'll glue the end of the twine to the back of the seahorse and then I'm just going to wrap this seahorse completely with twine. And so I will wrap it starting at the neck going toward the nose and then I'll just turn around and go back the other way uh, make, making sure to cover up any uh, places where the the colors of the seahorse is actually showing through. And I did find it easier to add a little hot glue in a few places just to hold the twine where I needed it to stay. That just makes it a little bit easier than just trying to wrap it only without using glue. And like I said, I'm just going to continue wrapping this until it's completely covered with twine. Then when I get to the end on the tail, I'll just snip it off and hot glue the end down. And here is what the finished seahorse looks like. Next, I'm going to dry brush some of the ivory chalk paint onto my letters. And then I'll take some of that truffle brown chalk paint and dry brush the sign as well. Then I'm going to place my letters and my seahorse on the sign and then I'll just use some hot glue and glue them down. I decided I wanted to add a little something to the bottom right hand corner. It just looked like it needed something. So I found some little shells that I had on hand already and I'm just adding three little shells and just hot gluing them on. If you don't have any on hand, Dollar Tree does sell little shells. They usually come in a little bottle and they're in the floral section. And here's my finished farmhouse coastal seahorse sign. I think it's super cute. I hope you liked this video and these projects. If you did, please give my video a big like 
And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos. I would love to read in the comments below what types of projects or videos you might be wanting to see. I'm always looking for new ideas, so if you have some ideas or things that you're wanting to see or have me try to do, then just drop me a comment below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a blessed day.